Okay, what's up? You see, I'm back on the video. And in today's video, we're going to continue off where I left off with my last video about this whole veganism movement. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing but a form of another uh, mind manipulation, not getting you to let you think for yourself, cultist bullshit. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you this, this, um, this, this embryonic, uh, fraternal prenatal chart. Now, you women should know this. So, before you even get to this stage right here of a fetal and a period, fetal period in full term, before you even get to this, this formation, this transfiguration, you start off as this. So what the hell is this? And before you even get to this period, what, what was you before that? You don't know. Because you're not doing your research on your own damn, for your own damn self. Now I keep on telling you all that we are made up of nothing but chemicals and elements. Right? So we're made up, 90% is water. And we know that so in the woman's, so the seed is in the woman. No different when you plant a seed in the ground. It has to be what? It has to be fertilized. It has to be watered. It has to have light for, in order for it to grow. So the sun gives light energy to the seed you plant in the ground. And what comes out of the ground? Your product, your produce, your, your fruits and vegetables, your, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. No different what goes on the side of the, the animal body. And the, and, the so, and the human body. Okay? So, inside of the woman's womb, you have something called the fallopian tube, right? And you women, you know damn well that when you are pregnant, you start taking on those hunger, cra those hunger cravings. And you're not worried about eating no damn fruits and vegetables. You want to eat everything you get your hands on. Cheeseburgers, pizza, you know what I'm saying, yogurt, ice cream, cookies. You know what I'm saying? And when you eat that, st when you eat that stuff, your teeth grind it down, and you swallow it through your esophagus, uh, esophagus, esophagus, and then the baby starts to feed on that stuff, right? And the baby is not thinking about, um, the baby is not thinking about, um, is this are these fruits and vegetables? Because look at the progressional stage. Look at the look at the progressional stages. You know what I'm saying? It gets to this point, what, the ninth to 16th week? It starts to, it starts to get a brain? So, th going through this, when you backtrack, when you start backtracking, right? It's going to eyes, the central nervous system, the heart. It's going teeth, right? So, when you get to this stage, the, when you get to the ninth to the 16th rate, week with the brain, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not even thinking about, uh, am I eating fruits and vegetables? It's, it's thinking about, am I surviving? How am I going to survive? Right? So, no different than when, let's say the person, a person is in a uh, traumatic accident, right? And they're put on, they're on a coma. And the only thing they can, uh, in, order, in order for them to eat, they have to be put on a feeding tube. Right? And, uh, and with that feeding tube, the doctor can choose to have them on a liquid diet, or they can take the meat and grind it up, and they can still get their pro get their proteins. It's just in a liquefied form, but it's still meat, okay? Because there, there must there, there must be balance. Your body your body has to balance itself out. Because you know damn well if you just strictly eating just fruits and vegetables, you know what I'm saying. Let's just say you you go half a day without eating food. And you go inside your refrigerator and you have the choice to pick between meats and vegetables. Let's just say you pick vegetables. You know damn well no vegetables not going to fill you up. So you need, uh, you need something to substitute. You need a substitution. And with certain meats, you know what I'm saying, you have certain meats. It's pork, uh, you have steak, you have beef with certain fish. You have tilapia, you have catfish, you have bass. You know what I'm saying? Stop letting these people trick you. 
the problem come, what, what the problem is, people are afraid to die. People want to live forever. They don't want to die. So they feel as though, oh, if I go on a strictly vegan diet, I'm going to live forever. No, your ass going to die. You're going you're gonna to die. Because just think about this. If, if you are made up, if, if the majority of your body, ele, uh, the element in your body is water, what happens when you put a bottle of water? Let's just say I took this bottle of water right here, right? And, and it was filled up to the top. And I put this wa bottle of water in the window, and the sun is uh, beaming on this bottle of water. What's going to happen to this water? It's going to start to do what? Evaporate. Right? It's going to start to evaporate. It's going to start, it's going to, start to de deteriorate. Okay? And that's the same thing that's going to happen to your ass. You're going to start to deteriorate. You're going to start to evaporate. The, the, your skin on your body is nothing but dirt. Do the goddamn experiments yourself. When you sit in the bathtub, what comes off your body? Dirt. Right? What what happens when a person who's not thoroughly clean, cleansing them, clean, cleansing their body, and you know in the ground or you have certain plants that, that grows fungus and mold, right? Same thing that happens with your that happens with you. You have people. That doesn't clean who doesn't cleanse themselves thoroughly, properly, and they can grow fungus on their feet. And that fungus on their feet, if if they're not properly uh getting the proper care they need to keep their body up to date, it's gonna start to do what? It's gonna start to break down. No different than the car. You gotta keep the car with the car. You gotta keep the the uh the engine oil. You gotta keep the uh the engine o uh, oiled. The transmission, the, you gotta keep the fluids balanced. Or what's gonna happen? It's gonna start to rust. It's gonna start to rust out from the inside out, right? So, if a person who's growing fungus on their feet, what's gonna happen? It's gonna start to grow into worms, and then what's gonna happen to your foot? It's gonna have to get amputated. Okay. So, in order for you to live, something has to die. You're going to die. You're not going to live forever. So that's the question. What's going to happen to you when you die? If you know that you are made up of nothing but chemicals and elements, what's going to happen to you? We're going to, you're going to go back to where you came from. But you're so focused on this, on this, on this, this physical form. This is not you. You cannot be, you, you are not describable. You are, you are indescribable. So when you get so when you are in your in the mother's womb, when you, before you even get to this this progressional stage, you're starting off as this. What the hell is this? Right? What is this? And before you even get to this stage, what were you before that? You women should be able to you should you should know this. If you're talking about you a goddess. And you letting people trick you and just going just strictly vegan because, you know what I'm saying? I, who, who, just ask yourself this question. They say, oh, we got to grow up. We got, we have to grow our own fruits and vegetables because the foods are, are, it's genetically modified. They're giving us GMO foods. Who can't, where did that come from? Because at the end of the day, when you, whatever food, whatever crop you, you put in the ground, you, we already know that they're spraying the soil with what? Pesticide. Right? In this day and age, we don't know what the hell we're eating. But guess what? Your body has already, uh, your body already has the defense mechanism to fight off of that, fight that stuff off. So it doesn't matter if you go strictly vegan. What 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 is how that how is going strictly vegan going to change your your living conditions by you have to pay that water bill or that gas bill or that light bill? You know what I'm saying? Nature don't give a shit if you go strictly vegan. That that's not going to spare your ass from dying. You can't escape death.
Now stop letting these people trick you. So let's go back into this book right here, the science of self. And we're gonna go right here. So this chart right here is the embryonic period, right? Getting up to the full getting up to the fetal period in weeks, the full term before we get to this period. So I'm gonna read to you. So you have week one, day one. So we at this part right here. I'm gonna read it. Day one is fertilization. When all human chromosomes are present and a unique human life begins. Day two is cleavage or splitting of the cell leading to exp uh, exponential growth. Day three is compaction when the mass of divided cells form a tightly packed spear. Day four is d differentiation when the embryo develops layers. Day five is uh, cat uh, captivation. By the end of the first week, the embryo begins implantation in the uterus. The embryo then begins differentiation where each cell starts producing the parent cell of future organs. Okay? Week three. Rapid earlier growth cools to, to a more moderate uh, pace. By the end of this week, the child's backbone and nervous system, right here, and nervous system emerge. The liver and kidneys, the liver, kidneys, and intestines begin to take shape. By the 22nd, the heart begins to beat with the child's own blood. Week four, cells are specializing without the, with the outer layer of the fertilized egg becoming the nervous system. Becoming the nervous system, skin, and hair. The inner layer will be the breathing and digestive system. The middle layer will be the skeleton, muscle, circulatory systems, kidneys, and sex organs. The, ch the child who resembles a tadpole is now ten is now ten thousand is now ten thousand times larger than the fertilized egg four weeks ago. All right. Week five and six. Week five through seven, now the legs, now the eyes, legs, and hands begin to develop. By week six, brain waves are detectable. The mouth and lips form, followed by eyelids and the toes, and, and, and then a distinct nose. The baby is kicking and swimming, so you're in water. Between 17 and 56 days, the embryo is most susceptible to drugs, disease, and other factors that interfere with normal growth. Week 8, week eight at this point, the embryo is developed into a, is developed enough to call a fetus, right? All organs and structures found in a full-term newborn are present. Bones begin to replace cartilage and fingerprints began to form the baby can begin to hear okay week 9 through 10 teeth and fingernails develop the baby can turn his head he can frown the head comprises nearly half of the fetus size and the, and the face is well formed by week 10 and 11 the baby can breathe am am uh, amniotic fluid and, and urinate by week 11, the baby can grasp its umbilical cord and all organ systems are functioning. The baby has a skeletal structure, nervous and circulatory. The genitalia are now clearly, the genitalia are now clearly male or female. Week 12, the baby has all the parts necessary to experience pain, including nervous, spinal cord, and the thalamus. Bo vocal cords are complete. Month, the month four, Bone marrow begins to form. The heart is pumping 25 quarts of blood a day and beating 120 to 150 beats per minute. Weeks, uh, months five through six, at 20 weeks, the baby recognizes the mother's voice. The, bra the baby practices breathing amniotic, amniotic fluid and grasping the umbilical cord when they can feel it. Okay? Months seven through eight, seven through nine, 
they uh they can taste they have all the all of uh 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 five physical senses just broke it down that quick so you are not even you're not this you 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 trans you transfigured into this you grew into this you wasn't born like that same thing with the goddamn bible with Adam and Eve. They wasn't born. So you mean to tell me God made Adam and Eve as, as full grown adults? They didn't have to go through this trans transitional stage? They didn't have to go through breastfeeding or nothing like that? They just came out full adults. So I'm speaking just speaking of speaking a full blown language. Huh? Answer that question. This goes with any religious text. So you were you and so-called consciousness or what we call God are one of the same. It has to go through this transitional, this transfiguration, this transmogrification stage, stages to get to this point to become a baby. And then you become an adult. And then you go back into it's the reverse process. You become an adult, you, you have to wear diapers as a baby, and then when you get old as an adult, up in age, what happens? You have to wear diapers. You, you're going back. You, you're you're going back into where you started from. The, the reverse, the the process reverses. You're going back into this into this format. Into what you into what you originally were, and what is that? You're indescribable. What what is this? This is so so called a zygote. Before you get into this, what is that? So. It goes with the thought form. Who came up with that? With that? With that part? Everything is a mind. Buddha. Buddha's sayings. Buddha's teaching. Uh. Buddha's quotes. Mindful is a quality that, that that's always there. You know what I'm saying? Like like Buddha. It says right here. This is Buddha. The mind is everything. What you what you think you become. Okay. This is this is where you get this. We're in the mind of God. This is coming from Buddha. Buddha was a black man. This is what this is. With the with the trillion with the trillions of years, this comes from Buddhism. Go back to the origin, research these things. Okay, you're not researching y'all. You you niggas not researching the goddamn thing. You got people coming over here, coming on here, just making videos. They're not giving you any type of references or nothing. They just don't hear just then they're, they're no different than the pastor. In the church. Just going through our, just going through the going through the motions. And we know how we know how emotional women are. They get they get sucked up by that shit. And they, and they, they get caught in their feelings. They ain't researching the goddamn thing. How, how's the man gonna tell a woman about her body when the man comes from the goddamn woman? Goddamn shame. So just just debunk that whole veganism bullshit. If you don't go vegan, mother earth and wipe you out. You know niggas die every damn day. Look over look over there in, in those uh, foreign countries in, in Indonesia and things of that nature. They're having mudslides, tsunamis, tidal waves. They ain't, mother earth, the, the nature, the earth, whatever you want to call it, it's not worried about you being a vegan. Your ass is getting wiped out. When your time comes, it's a wrap. Condolences goes out to Kobe Bryant's family, but guess what? His his time came. It, it came. He can he couldn't escape death. It came. Whether he was a vegan or not, he still died. So with that being said, think for yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.